Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the broken rail system in those uh, Whirlpool dishwashers. And uh, so as you can see over here, the rail on my top rack, um, one of the rail actually just totally fall off. And uh, they make a new replacement. However, the new replacement is, it looks so much different than the original one, which is actually plastic. So. When you order these parts from a, the Whirlpool um, official website, they're gonna redirect you to a website called um, Repair Clinic. And this is where I ordered my replacement parts. And as you can see, the total cost is about $42 shipped. And this is the replacement part that they recommended me to get. W107-12395. So this is the entire assembly for the top dishwasher rack, which is usually the part that breaks the most common on those dishwashers. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to replace the whole set, both left and right, uh, with the replacement parts that I got. And by the way, those are genuine parts um, that they sell. However, you can get those for about 50% off on Amazon. I'll actually give you guys a link on where to get those. And if I have known, you can get it on Amazon for like 50% off. I would totally order from Amazon instead of spending $42 on those. So anyway, the parts comes in a few like very simple pieces. So you get your two rail system. That's the main rail system over here, replacing the plastic part over there. And the top assembly is actually the remaining parts over here. So you have a longer one holding it like that and then you have a screw holding it like that. So that's the top assembly on, on both sides. You have a set. And obviously this is a little pushing thing to raise the rack higher and lower. And again, it looks different than what you, it came with, but it's actually the correct parts, okay? So don't worry, it looks different. And the last few things that came in this little plastic bag are actually the positioning, um, the, the placeholders that's supposed to be going somewhere here to hold the metal parts in, in place. And with those holders, it comes with four stainless steel screws. Those screws are actually uh, using the star uh, socket. So you need a special socket for it, which is a T15 socket. And they actually included this little socket over here. So um, all you have to do is, you know, use a Phillips to drive this socket adapter in turn drives the screw into the things. Okay, so I want to show you guys before I you know, proceed with it. Okay, so then the remaining piece you need is just a Phillips uh, screw drive. And that's pretty much it. So very first thing first is we just gonna remove the old system. The entire assembly is not gonna be used again. So remove it and toss it. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in there. I think the reason they actually uh, improved the design to metal is so the dirt and all the uh, the grease doesn't really attract and stuck in the plastic piece in here. Uh, this is much more streamlined, so it's going to keep the dishwasher much, much more cleaner uh, after each use. Okay, so that's the main reason it's switched to metal. Okay, so now we just need to figure out how to get the whole assembly out. So to take uh, this part off, it's actually uh, super easy. So basically, you also need a flat screw head, uh, screwdriver, flat head, and you just pry it. And once you pry it out, you know, this thing just falls apart and the top part, um, you can just toss it away because it's not going to be used again. And uh, same thing on the other side, you just pry it and then it, it comes out super easily. So again, we're just going to remove the easiest part first. And then we're going to put it into the recycle. And the bottom part, um, I believe is held it's held by a few, um, okay, now I see it. So you need to get this out, out of the groove, and it should just come off like fairly quickly and easily. So as you can see, this part is already off. Um, and on the other side, again, I'm not even worried about preserving this because um, all those is gonna be replaced. Use a little extra force, and it's all held on by a few of those um, placement holders. So, as you can see over here, there's one. I think I just need to push it a little bit. And I 
without flying. Um, see, it's all. So, all right, so I just flipped to this side. We're gonna also take this side off uh, very quickly. And let's see, so one of those is held by again, this piece. All you need to do is just unlock it and it should come off. So that side is off and this side is a little more tricky. So I think you push it over here and then it should come off very easily. Without destroying it, of course. So, like so. And the last piece, of course, is in here that you just push and pull and it should come off flying. Okay, so just be careful of flying pieces. And I'll hold it right there. So it's off. Okay guys, so now we are ready to actually install the new piece and uh, I already have one side of the stuff kind of lined up. So you have the actuator over here. You have the thing that actually holds the um, holds the accurator. It, it's gonna sit like that, and then you have your piece over here, which is gonna sit somewhere here, uh, the rail sliding um, thing over here, and then you have two placement holders over here. So of course, with two screws to secure um, this two hole over here. Okay. So first thing first, we're gonna put this metal piece in the thing in the in the rack so basically you're gonna look for um, I think we usually say the fourth hole so one two three four you're gonna just tilt it and slide it and let it sit somewhere in there okay so once you have the slider kind of installed on the fourth um, hole over here by sliding the ink slightly at an angle you're gonna install the little um, stopper over here the stopper is basically you just twist it a little bit, get it into the groove, like so, with the little like longer piece facing the top, and then you're gonna just basically push it all the way in and secure it. Once it's secured, you're gonna install the next one. So all it does is to prevent it from falling off. So you're basically just locking it, okay? So the same thing goes over here. You want this piece on the top and just twist it a little bit. And of course, next we're gonna install the this longer piece, which is used to secure um, the metal piece over here. So all you have to do, just to line it up, and there's a slot to slide in between the metal piece over here. So all you have to do is just, you know, line it up and slide it in gently. And there is gonna be a click. You're gonna hear a distinctive click once it goes into place. Ow! <laughs> uh, that's not the click, but you're gonna hear the clicking sound. So it locks into the place. And now we're almost done with the, you know, with the installation and as you can see it actually sits in here nicely and you can slide it over up and down already all right now we're pretty much almost done with one side of the installation so next thing to do is uh, get the accurator in there uh, super easy there's a hole for the accurator so you just need to pry this a little bit and drop it in there and make sure the you're using the correct accurator because you need to make sure this side is facing inside and facing towards the front of the dishwasher. So this was the wrong one, this is the correct one. Just pry it and drop the actuator in there in the big groove. And like so. So once this is done, the very last step is just uh, secure it with the final cover and then put the screws on there and then you are pretty much done. So let's see. And so one thing I didn't mention is you need to actually align. There's a groove over there to align to this wire. So you need to actually push it down a little bit to align it over there. So the actuator kind of sits a little bit below there. So just uh, just to take note, okay? You need to align it over there, okay? That's one thing I didn't mention, but you do need that 
because otherwise you will not be able to put the cover on there. The cover have a tab uh, on the top, so basically you just align the top and then align the bottom and push it in, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty much set. Very last step, those are two two holes over here. You drop the stainless steel screw in here and then just uh, tighten it really quickly. And I'm gonna actually use the included adapter to do that, which is this little piece. Okay, you align it and use your little Phillips screw and you just push it in and lock it into place. Next, I'm gonna just do the other side really quickly without stopping, and you guys can, you know, take an overall quick look at how to install this piece uh, fairly easily and quickly. So again, this is uh, really not a completed installation. You just need to know that how to take off the old piece and then install the new piece, okay? So I'm gonna switch it over and we're gonna install on this side. And again, very similar. Count on to the fourth one. One, two, three, four, over here. Kind of hard, okay. Now the rest is over here. Next step is we're gonna use the uh, little stopper to clip it into place so it doesn't drop down all the way. And again, twist a little bit to just get the, get the thing in there. And then push this thing all the way in until you hear a click. And same thing for this side, make sure this is facing the top. And just uh, twist a little bit to get it in there. And then align the tab. And push it in really quick. So that's done. Next step, get the slider in there. Align with the tab and just gently push it forward. until again you hear a click and make sure you don't put your hand here otherwise you're gonna pinch your hand okay just a gentle click it's gonna rest over there so next step accurator make sure it's correctly aligned and it's facing um it's facing towards the uh the front of the um dishwasher and drop it into the big groove over here and once it's dropped in there it it should be, it should fit really nicely. Again, the last step is make sure this wire sits in the groove by pushing it down a little more. And you're gonna hear another click, hopefully. So the rest in the groove over here, like so. So make sure this is rest in the groove, okay? Make sure it's rest in the groove. And very last step, just get this little cover on there. And then push it in, lock it in place. Very last step is just use the two screws to secure it firmly and nicely. As you can see, once you've done one side, the other side, the installation is like pretty much a breeze. Um, there's not much technical difficulty at all. It's just a matter of you know muscle memory. And of course, once you secure this, um, it should work really, really well. And because it's a metal piece, it doesn't attract much dirt compared to the old plastic piece. And it's actually a much simpler design, to be honest. So kudos to them for improving the design of the slider. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna put it in the dishwasher and give it a test. So uh, let's try to slide this into the machine. So the rails are over here. Basically, I just need to align to the rail and drop it in there. Obviously, it needs to be set inside. There are two wheels, make sure both wheels sit inside, okay? Alright, while we're done, we're gonna pull this out a little bit and we're gonna actually secure 
the end piece so it doesn't slide out. Right, so you just push it in to lock it in place. So that way it's locked and it, it doesn't slide out. Okay, so we're gonna install the other side as well. Feels, uh, feels a lot more firmer and actually works fantastic. Let's uh, try to lift it up and drop it down. So that's the uh, height adjustment, which also works fantastically. Um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions uh, about how to install the uh, dishwasher rack real assembly, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Take care.